I'm an artist, you're an artist, we are all artists. The colors we'll need are white, blue, yellow, red, black, and brown. We'll also be using a variety of brushes and a black canvas. My brush here is a three-fourths of an inch brush. Anything you have around there is fine. We're going to add some glare over here to the night sky in the center. I use some blue, add a little bit of white, and I did rinse the brush so that it could be slightly damped. So I'm going to use this now across here to establish a glare in the sky, right through the canvas from the left all the way to the right. So let's add a little bit more underneath here and then no more paint. Let's just use what's already here. We blur it, move the brush to blur it, to rub it so that it can become soft and soft as it goes into the night sky. Then let's even dip the brush in the water and then just kind of slightly wipe it off. That will create a softer touch because there's less paint. So let's add some stars to the night sky. Let's protect our surroundings, make sure that you don't get paints anywhere. So now let's take a small brush. Here I have a detail brush. I'm gonna dip it into water and then dip that wet brush that's dripping with water into some white paint a couple of times so that it will be very watered down. And then with that detail brush, using my finger, I'm gonna sprinkle stars. And after we add as many stars as we want, let's let it dry for 15 minutes. So now here I have another brush. This is a number 10 flat brush. Anything around there is fine. If you have anything in that vicinity, make sure you rinse it and dry it with a paper towel. Then take some red, mix it with some yellow to create a fiery orange. Add a little bit of white too. Now that brush being damp helps us a lot because here it mixes slightly with the color. And we're gonna add some colors that are kind of soft. You'll see what I mean in a second. At first it's very strong and abrupt. Then we start just expanding, adding it and pressing it. Nice and firm, nice and hard onto the surface so that it starts to fade as we expand. We want it to be a glare. I dip it in the water, then slightly, just slightly wipe off some of it. And now that is even softer as I apply it to the canvas. As you see, it's fading and fading as we proceed. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Here we go. Let's dip it in the water. Just slightly wipe it off. It's gonna produce a soft, ethereal, translucent effect. And by the way, what we're painting here is the mothership hovering above the Devil's Tower Mountain. And also, by the way, my name is Juan, and it's good to see you for those that are here returning. And for those that are here the first time, welcome to Ethereal Arts Studio. Please subscribe to our channel. So now, let's let this dry for like five minutes. Let's go back to a medium or small to medium sized brush. Here I have my number 10 flat. I'm gonna take some black paint and I'm gonna start painting the actual mothership. So it's very simple. As you can see, it's a curved line. It's sort of like an almond shape. This is the bottom of the ship. And then there's an even larger part. And you're gonna start seeing your spaceship come together and really take shape as we paint to this glorious film from Steven Spielberg's earlier days. So now let's go small. If you have a detail brush like this one, go ahead and let's use it. Let's add some spires or some spikes that are coming out of the spaceship. It has a, an elaborate design, but we're gonna make it easy. And to all the fans out there, I wanted to let you know that this is actually the fifth Spielberg themed uh, paint tutorial that we have made. We have tutorials on Jaws, Jurassic Park, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and E.T. So now let's wash our brushes. Let's also let this dry for a good 15 minutes once again. Dry your number 10 flat brush after you rinse it, obviously, and let's create more of that orange fiery color that we used for the glare in the night sky. We need to add this right to the mothership. That's why we need it to be completely dry. 
So here I am just adding some glare. It's totally abstract, doesn't have a definite shape. And the reason why it's bright orange is because it's full of light that is being emitted from the mothership, uh, which we will add soon, all the lights on the mothership. But for now, let's continue to add glare. I have a small brush here, it's another detail brush. It's just any small brush you might have to add some, some glare that is separate from the, from the glare in the middle. And we're gonna add bright light to each of these spots or patches soon. For now, let's just add the glare itself. Let's add a hint of uh, actual light hitting the curve of the spaceship here. All right, so now, once we finish adding all the glare into the sky around the spaceship, let's make the mountain. Now, for the mountain, we need black paint, and it is very simple. So let's paint each side first, and then we'll paint the center, the peak of the mountain. And now let's paint everything below this horizon that we just created. We are totally getting there guys. Just hang on. Let's use a detail brush once again. Let's make a very, very, very bright um, yellow orange color. That is so bright, it looks almost white. And let's add this to each of those patches of glare that we added, those small ones, so that now each glare is there for a reason. It's because there's light, bright light in the center of each of those, the lights of the spaceship. So let's add some design here to the spaceship. Let's add some, some lights on the actual body of the spaceship which is why there's all this glare, all this bright glare in the sky. All right, so now I've allowed the mountain to dry for about 10 minutes. You know, in between that time I painted the lights on the spaceship. Now let's add some more details to the mountain itself. Let's make a gray color. And this is so we could paint the station where the scientists are at the base of the mountain. Let's go back to a detail brush now so that we can add some lights using white paint inside of this station. All it is is simply white. We're gonna add lights that are illuminating the inside of this base. Let's add some all around here. Make sure we put some here in the center where there's a lot of light inside of that room and all the way in the center. Tiny lights, then some of various sizes. Then make sure that we add some lights to this runway. Let's, let's actually highlight this runway by adding lights to both sides. And then let's make sure that we give this time to dry, about 10 minutes once again. Now let's add some details to the mountain. Let's make a gray color once again. We can use the gray that we just used, but then we, let's add some brown to it as well so that it can have a terrain color because it's part of the mountain's exterior. Once we have the color that we want, it's not too bright, let's add some details, some bumpiness, some ground texture to this mountain.
All right, for the last part now, let's make a very bright glare. Here I have my number 10 flat brush once again. I have some white paint. My brush, as always, is very damp. Now let me take a little bit of blue. Let me add a little bit more blue. We want it to be a bluish glare. This is for the inside of the base once again, but I've allowed it to dry at least 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna wipe off most of the paint with a paper towel. So this is once again, very, very soft. I apply it and at first it might seem very imposing. Then I wipe off the rest of the paint. So now it's totally dry. And with that, I blur it even further so that it could be glare once again. Now I'm gonna just reapply some of the lights so that they can be a little bit more visible. After this, your painting is ready for you to sign it and to gift it to someone or to hang it up in your favorite room. Please visit our Etsy store and also visit etherealartsstudio.com.